Hey guys. All right, so I made a post a while back saying, uh, there, is there any other type of content you guys like to see from me other than just tournament footage? I'm gonna keep providing that. And one of the comments I got is, show us how you locate smallmouth out here on the St. Lawrence River. Um, I'm gonna record some active target uh, screensaver shots. And I'm gonna record me fishing at the same time. I'm gonna show you guys how I go out here to the Thousand Islands region and what I look for what I see on active target and hopefully we can get some good screen captures of my drop shot going down and catching some small mouth. That's what you asked for. So we're launching here at Clayton today. Uh, we got the Vexus Mercury power pole combo ready to go. And we're gonna get out there and try to look for them. And uh, let's just get right into it. So I've driven quite a ways away and I got to this area that's loaded with islands. The Thousand Island Regions is called that just because of that. And one of the easiest ways for me to locate smallmouth in the Thousand Islands region is to get around some of these islands. You can see I'm around several islands right here. And what you get there is you get a, you get a nice current. As it pinches down between these islands, some of them have more current than others, but you got current. And when you've got current like that, it's gonna position fish. So the next thing you look for is boulders and stuff to hide those fish in those current where they can get a break or ambush fish. And so I've already graphed around here. Um, you can see these boulders right here. They extend down in the water into this pinch point here, creates current, has boulders. There's probably gonna be some smallmouth somewhere sitting here, either on the front end of the current. Sometimes they get in the middle, depending on your boulder uh, quantity. And sometimes they'll be at the backside of it. So uh, depending on the wind and all that, you get more current, it repositions the fish. But using Lorance Active Target, we're gonna look down there. Hopefully we see some and I'll show you guys how easy it is to catch them. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is pick me out some drop shot baits. I love this color, this spicy melon. This is the Drop Minnow by Great Lakes Finesse. This is really small, it's 2.2 inches, so I like having a really finesse style bait. And also, I love this 10 killer gold Yum Sonar Minnow. So these are gonna be a couple of colors that I'm gonna have on every time. The third bait that I always have on, this is the Yum Morning Shot, just in green pumpkin. So I'll have that down there. Uh, there's gonna be my lineup. I'm gonna have three drop shots rigged up and I'll have all three of those sitting on there. And uh, I'll show you how I go through those. All right, so I want you up here close to me. I got you right up here on the front deck. Uh, I'm gonna hit record on my active target screen so you guys can see what I'm looking at. And I'm at the front end of these two islands where I've got a little current trying to push through in between them. And on the front side of these things, a lot of times, like there I see a couple of fish right now. So let me hit record, but a lot of times these fish will set up on the front side of these things. And if they're up off the bottom, you can see them really good with the active target. If they're not up off the bottom, you still might need to blind cast at what active target shows you as a boulder. It's a good target. There's probably some fish setting up on some of these boulders that you see and you don't see the fish, but when you throw your bait in there, they show themselves. They come out, they're real curious. They'll come out and look at it and show themselves. So don't always assume there ain't a fish there if you don't see it, because a lot of times they are really good at hiding. Okay, we're recording. Now I'm gonna get you up here. I got the screen recording. I'm gonna put my tripod in a way that I can talk to you. I don't know if this is gonna work or not, but I should be showing you the screen in this video edit. So I'm panning around. And as you can see, literally there's some fish right there, 10 foot away, sitting on top of that boulder. That one right there is a little bigger. And if I pan right here, you can see there's a fish sitting right there on the face of that boulder. It didn't look like a very big one, but there was darn sure a fish sitting there. So I'm gonna back up a little bit. Sometimes you get right on top of them. I'm sitting in 40 foot of water. There's a great big one right underneath the boat right there. See those? So I'm just gonna drop straight down. There's the drop shot going down. You can see it falling. I went with the Great Lakes Finesse Drop Minnow first. Now I don't see those fish anymore because my bait's falling away from the plane and where they were, but that's okay. Like, just because I don't see the bait and look at that, there's a fish going to it on the bottom. See that fish right on the bottom, right in front of me? Here's two or three of them going. Look at, see how the bottom came to life right there? Now I'm just gonna pick up that drop minnow and I'm not even gonna move it. I'm gonna let the current do all the work. And we had one. 
that drop minnow it sits there neutrally buoyant in the in the down there at the bottom with that tk150 hook on it and uh so immediately when i dropped that bait down there some fish that i didn't see showed themselves this is a pretty steep drop right here but look at all those fish sitting on that 45 degree they're 20 foot out in front of me and they're 50 foot deep these fish are really deep right here uh, i've not fished here before so literally you can just go out and search for these fish like i'm telling you and look around all these islands and you can find these fish i see that one sitting there i'm trying to catch him for you that was almost picture perfect they almost grabbed it right off the bat and you'll catch some small ones and you'll darn sure catch some big ones um go, oh there see there's the bait coming up look at all the fish falling it up see how they'll show themselves look at all of them now i can tell these are not very big smallmouth here i can tell because look how they relate in size to my drop shot and my drop minnow uh, so these are not very big ones that are showing themselves right here but it's okay for instructional purposes we will drop down there i'm missing them so right now i see that big boulder out there at 40. i don't see a fish sitting there on it but it's a really good place for one to hide so i'm going to pitch my drop shot over there and see if i can call one up this is part of it you don't always see them just like i talked about so i threw it a little short of the face of that boulder but if there's a small mouth down there Pay attention to the bottom here. You're looking to see if anything comes off. Look there. See how that fish came off the bottom? We didn't see a single fish there. And he came up and see he's going back down a little bit. And I see a couple of the little ones there with him. We got him. Look at him. There he is. He's coming up. You can see. see him on the drop you can see him fighting him. it's actually not that bad fish it's actually a pretty good fish let me turn the camera around so you guys can see he's pulling pretty good i'm gonna set you way down here so you can actually get the fight that was pretty cool worked pretty good uh so again we threw at that boulder had never fished here had not we couldn't see a fish there but it just made sense if one was hiding there and these fish they lay on the bottom and they hide so well this brand new Kistler reel is fantastic. This is actually a really nice fish, guys. I saw some little ones down there and we got lucky and the very first fish we got on the drop minnow is a stud. It's a really good one. It's a really good one. Here, I'll turn it down so you can watch. You can get him. Oh, we had him. <laughs> Look at this. Check this out. Check that out. I mean, literally, guys, I've only been fishing like three minutes. There it is. That TK150 drop shot hook right in the snout. Check that out. It don't get any better than that. Now, see, I nose hooked that drop minnow. I just kind of nose it on there. It's kind of messed up from the fish eating it, but it sits there neutrally buoyant in the water. And you just watch that fish peel off the bottom. Peeled off the bottom. And this is... This fish is over four pounds, but we're going to weigh it and make sure. But it literally, you guys asked me to make that content, and I hope that was helpful. It's literally that simple. You get on your active target. You still have to trust your fishing instincts. You still got to think about current, fish positioning, what fish you're going to do. And then just like that, I told you before we even started recording, that just because you don't see a fish on a boulder, if your instinct tells you there should be one there, throw your drops over there, watch it, and let them show you guys. Check this out. Can I see that? Oh, it's gonna be crooked. Hold on. You gotta keep these things straight up and down. See if it locks in. Did it lock in? Just locked in. 466. That's a 466. Can you see that? Oh, I cleared it. Darn it. Yeah. Hopefully you guys saw that. I don't wanna keep this fish out of the water any longer. But we just caught a 466 on our first fish of the day and uh, it didn't take long, and it's really that easy. I'm gonna go have fun. Sorry I ain't gonna sit here and focus on content for you guys. The fish must be biting today, because that was really simple. Let's let this fish go. And... She should be good to go. Let's watch her tomorrow. There she goes. 
listen i hope that worked good for you guys don't forget to click like click subscribe all these baits go to lurenet.com use my coupon code cordiana 15 saves you 15 percent and they give me a little kickback for promoting them so please do that get you your yum sonar minnow get you your great lake finesse drop minnow get the yum a warning shot all that stuff catches up just for fun just so you guys know the very next fish i dropped down on was that size so i was afraid that's what i was gonna catch because i seen a bunch of them down there you don't always catch big ones but the big ones are sitting there with them too don't run away um i'm not a believer that they school up in sizes all the time for sure it's awesome when you find a school of big ones or three to five pounders that happens but sometimes these big ones that's a 466 that's a good one anywhere you go is mixed in with them little ones too i um, uh, hope you guys like today's video i'll see you guys on the next one